Hi, it's Carrie. I've got some new big cats to show you. I'm going to talk about lions first. Of the living felid species, the lion is rivaled only by the tiger in length, weight and height at the shoulder. Its skull is very similar to that of the tiger. Due to the amount of skull variation in the two species, usually only the structure of the lower jaw can be used as a reliable indicator of species. The length, colour and size of the mane are associated with genetic precondition, sexual maturity, climate and testosterone production. The lioness Female lions stay closer to their natal pride. Therefore, female lions in an area are more closely related to each other than the male lions in the same area. The lion is a generalist hypercarnivore and is considered to be both an apex and keystone predator due to its wide prey spectrum. The lion's attack is short and powerful they attempt to catch prey with a fast rush and final leap and usually kill prey by strangulation which can cause cerebral ischemia or asphyxia and result in hypoxemia or hypoxia. They also kill prey by enclosing its mouth and nostrils in their jaws which also results in asphyxia. The tiger. They have a mane like heavy growth of fur around the neck and jaws and long whiskers, especially in males. The pupils are circular with yellow irises. The small rounded ears have a prominent white spot on the back surrounded by black. These spots are thought to play an important role in intraspecific communication. An aggressive tiger may display twisted ears, a lashing tail, wide open eyes and the mouth ever so slightly agape. If the tiger goes into defensive mode, the ears will lie down flat, the teeth will be bared, the eyes narrowed into very thin slits and the tail low. The Jaguar. The best place to see them is in the Pantanal in Brazil. Jaguars have incredibly powerful jaws, strong enough to pierce a skull and crack a sea turtle shell. The African Leopard. Being a member of the big cat family, it can roar. Besides roaring, it also uses growls, spits and purrs to communicate with each other. They mark their territory with scent markings, droppings and a raspy cough-like sound. I'm moving on to my jumbo big cats and wild cats. Lions are mainly found in parts of Africa, south of the Sahara. The white tiger. This one's made by Papo. The white tigers are mainly found in India. The Indian or Bengal tiger is the most numerous and accounts for half of the total tiger population. Black Panther. The appearance of a black coat may be influenced by other factors such as the angle of light and the animal's life stage. The Florida Panther is a species of Puma concolor and is confined to a small, isolated and inbred group in southern Florida. The 
tiger has no mane, but in old males, the hair on the cheeks is rather long and spreading. Cheetahs have evolved many adaptions that enhance their ability to sprint. Their legs are proportionally longer than those of other big cats. If a new cohort of males is able to take over a pride, they will seek to kill young cubs side by their predecessors. This has the effect of shortening the time before the cubs' mothers are ready to mate again. The puma is a large brownish New World cat comparable in size to the jaguar. isolated population of about 650 Asiatic lions live under strict protection in India's Gur National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary. The jaguar is found in South and Central America from Mexico through to Northern Argentina. The males are larger than the females and may attain a shoulder height of about 1 metre or 39 inches. Please subscribe and like if you like big cats and wild cats. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.